ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ಕುಂಟೋಜಿ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಿಸಿಷಿಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿವಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಟ್ ಮಣಿಪಾಲ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಮಲ್ಲೇಶ್ವರ ಟುಡೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ವರೀಡ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಮಂಕಿ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೈರಾಲಜಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಪಿಡೆಮಿಯಾಲಜಿ about uh, the previous outbreaks and the current outbreak of 2022 and then how long it will be infectious if a person has its incubation period clinical signs and symptoms and the investigations that can be done and the treatment that is available so coming to the first one about the virology the monkeypox virus comes under the name called as orthopox virus which is similar as that of uh, variola uh, virus or otherwise the smallpox virus in this monkeypox virus there are mainly three strains are identified and it is called as clad 1 clad 2 and clad 3 the present 2022 outbreak is because of the strain called as clad 3 all over the world the first monkeypox outbreak has happened in the year 1950 between the animals to animals and mainly in the laboratory monkeys later on the outbreak in humans happened in 1970 in africa a place called as congo and uh, most cases after 1970 were seen in south as well as the east africa and in 1970 outbreak in africa almost around 80 cases were detected of monkey pox and surprisingly about 17% mortality was seen in children who were affected with this monkey box in the 1970 outbreak in 2022 the who declared as monkey box as the endemic disease uh, a week back who declared as uh, the public health emergency of international concern so that is in july 2023 and uh, in 2023 till now all over the world about 18000 confirmed monkey pox viruses have been detected and in india about 5 to 6 cases of monkey pox virus have been found to be positive we all need to know how does this monkey pox virus spreads spreads one is from the animals to human beings so whenever somebody gets exposed to the infected animals and uh, if that infected animal bites the human being then it can transmit or if the infected animal scratches the human being then it can spread to the human being or the infected animals bodily fluids if it can touch the human beings then it can get transmitted that is from animals to animal the second one is from human being to human being somebody who is infected it can transmit it can get transmitted to the other person by direct contact with the infected source scabs body fluids mucous membrane abrasions and whenever infected person gets in close contact with other person then also it can get transmitted and more so it is also found in homosexual uh, men so where they spend more time with other other infected person however the indirect contact also can transmit the disease what i mean by indirect contact is a diseased person has got fomites uh, that are exposed to the linen or the clothes or the body fluids and the uh, and the normal person gets exposed to these linen fomites or on the clothes then also this disease can get transmitted it can also get transmitted through the respiratory secretions also but however one need to have a prolonged exposure to the infected person by face to face and then it can also get transmitted to, through the through the uh, respiratory secretions it is also found that it can also transmit as a vertical transmission from mother to the uh, womb and all over the world it has been found that about five 
cases have been transmitted from the infected mother to the babies also and among five there was a one fetal death was also found and that fetus also had this uh, skin lesions or the rashes we are all in the covid era where the covid gets transmitted so fast to all the human all the household individuals but however it is found that monkey pox spreading fast spreading fast is less likely and the uh, and the studies show maybe around 9% it can spread in the household uh, transmission coming to the viral shedding and period of infect infectiousness that means if somebody has got the symptoms starting with the fever body pain myalgia so he will be he will be transmitting this monkey pox virus from the time of symptoms till he develops the rashes till the rashes gets healed till the rashes gets scabbed and till there is a healthy skin appears so so long he can transmit the virus to the next individual person so when then what about the incubation period incubation period is nothing but when an uninfected healthy individual gets exposed to the infected person and after from that day after how many days he will start having the symptoms and it is found that it varies from 5 days to 13 days maximum up to 21 days and in 2000 22 outbreak it is been found on an average about 8.5 days after he gets exposed will start having the uh, symptoms and signs so what are the classical symptoms and signs that are seen with monkey pox monkey pox virus disease most commonly they will have a fever chills myalgias and they will have a characteristic rashes and the rashes can be present over the skin mainly over the upper limb and the lower limb it can present at the genitalia and rectum and even at the oral uh, cavity also and uh, the prodromal period these rashes will develop generally after a prodromal period of this fever myalgia severe headache uh, fatigue for 5 days after that they will start having the rashes and the characteristic is also found that they can have a very intense headache and uh, they can develop the lymphadenopathy either it can be a localized or it can be a generalized lymphadenopathy which is commonly not seen in, with the other chicken pox or the small pox viruses severe fatigue is also one of the manifestation and uh, lymph nodes also uh, can be present to talk about the characteristic of this rash it generally begins in 1 to 4 days after the onset of fever and it continues for 2 to 3 weeks and it can present over the face hands soles oral cavity conjunctiva anal area and genital area there are various stages what this rash is progresses to it starts with just a 2 to 5 mm of uh, macule then it progress to the, progresses to the papule vesicle becomes a pustule and a circumscribed deep seated and characteristically it has got an ablication and later on it forms a crust which gets epithelialized to the normal tissue over a period of next 7 to 14 14 7 to 14 days and other characteristic feature of this is generally all this rashes or the lesions begin simultaneously unlikely in the chicken pox or the small pox where they develop in uh, various stages but however in monkey pox outbreak from 2022 is also found that it can also present at various stages also so what we are worried is apart from this rashes what other complications the monkey pox virus causes these patients can have a secondary infection they can have a bronco pneumonia they can develop into the sepsis they can also have a encephalitis and some patients also had a loss of vision also and when when we do the laboratory test they can have they are found to have increased wbc count decreased platelet count and they will also have a low albumin level so whenever we suspect the possible viral infection so we need to first differentiate is it a monkey pox virus or is it a possibility of other rashes that what we commonly seen as in 
uh, chicken pox or uh, long back what we had seen as the uh, as the uh, small pox but mainly now we need to differentiate between the uh, rashes due to the monkey pox as well as the chicken pox and as i mentioned previously chicken pox has got at various uh, levels of stages of rashes and generally they do not have the lymphadenopathy coming to the confirmation of these tests the confirmation of these tests can be analyzed by the uh, fluid sent from these rashes fluid sent from the uh, oral cavity or the nasal cavity swabs and uh, the pcr technique will confirm the monkeypox virus as of now in bangalore there are two centers one is at the victoria hospital virology center and uh, another one is at the nimans where these tests are confirmed so it is important to identify and once we identify know how long it can spread and also keep this patient isolated and the isolation period that is advised is for 21 days that means if somebody is infected he has to be isolated for 21 days if some person has got exposed to this monkey monkeypox virus even he needs to be isolated for 21 days and beyond 21 days if he does not develop any symptoms then he can come out of the isolation with respect to the treatment as in any, any other viral illness it is the symptomatic treatment for its uh, fever myalgia body ache headache and if they are severely dehydrated these patients may require an admission and uh, require uh, iv fluids and certain antiviral drugs also have been tried all over the world so hope this uh, information will help uh, all of you to uh, find out and diagnose investigate and treatment of this monkeypox virus disease thank you